Hi there, it's coach John Ewing here and in this video I'm going to teach you some of the moves that John Wall uses to score off the dribble in the NBA. Alright, so there are really two ways that John Wall gets 95% of his points on the basketball court. The first way is with explosive change of speed drives to the rim. And the second way that he gets most of his points is with simple mid-range pull-ups. And these are the two things that I'll cover in this video. And of course, I don't like to waste time, so let's get started with a look at the explosive change of speed drives to the rim. Attacking the basket is really how John Wall does most of his damage on the basketball court. Now, the reason he's so effective at getting to the rim is because he has mastered control over his speed on the basketball court. You see, what most players do is, whenever they're on the court, they try to do everything at absolute full speed. So every move, every technique, everything they do on the basketball court, they do it with their maximum speed. Now, what John Wall does is he only uses his speed when he needs to. So, here's what I mean by this. As you can see in this example, John Wall is bringing the ball up to court at a normal jogging speed. He has his head up and he's looking for open teammates or open lanes to the rim. Now, as soon as the defense makes a mistake and there's now a wide open lane to the rim, he quickly changes speeds and accelerates to the basket. And Wall brings it over the midcourt line. John gets in and with the left hand. That's pretty much how John Wall gets to the rim at will on the basketball court. He simply knows how to use his speed properly. Instead of going full speed at all times and becoming easy to guard, John Wall always starts off at a normal jogging speed. He always has his head up looking for open lanes to the rim. And as soon as he sees one, he immediately changes speeds and explodes to the rim. And if you want to get to the rim at will, that's all you need to do. Learn to control your speed. Don't go at full speed at all times on a basketball court. Start off at a slow jogging speed unless you need to accelerate to the basket. So bring the ball up at that normal jogging speed. Have your head up looking for open teammates or open lanes to the rim. And as soon as you see one of these open lanes to the rim, quickly accelerate and explode to the basket. cut in front of you where he's you're behind him because you at his mercy now 66 59 Atlanta wall penetrates and lays oh, it in boy, was... when he's not attacking the rim 
John Wall scores most of his other points on the court using mid-range pull-up jumpers. And this is a move that you're also going to need in your arsenal because as you start to consistently beat defenders off the dribble using um, the explosive change of speed drive that we just talked about, defenders will start backing off you and giving you space to shoot. Now, most of the pull-up jumpers that John Wall uses are your basic one or two dribble pull-ups. But he also has a very unique pull-up jumper, and that's the one that I'm going to focus in the rest of this video. The crossover pull-up is a pretty simple move that combines a side-to-side -side crossover move and a pull-up jumper. So, similarly to a side-to-side -side crossover move, you'll start the crossover pull-up by taking a hard step one way. So, you want to make your defender think that you're going to go that way, and then, of course, you're going to cross over, and instead of driving to the rim like in the side-to-side -side crossover, you'll cross over and immediately go into the jumper. So, that's how you perform the move. So again, start by taking a hard step one way as if you were going to drive that way, then cross over and immediately go into your jumper. Sixty-four to 61. You know, they say dreams are made in New York. A lot of NBA players always talk about their first experience in Madison Square Garden. John will get when you combine the explosive change of speed, drive to the rim, with the basic one and two dribble pull up and the crossover pull up that we just looked at, you'll be able to score tons of points off the dribble on the basketball court. All right, so that's it for this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you click on the link in the video description to access a free video course in which you'll learn even more unstoppable scoring moves and techniques. So do that right now and I'll talk to you in the next video.